here we go with the pitter tube what is pitter tube we have to write the definition of the pitter tube pitter tube is a device used for measuring the velocity of flow at any point in a fiber channel let me write here Peter tube is a simply a device that measures the velocity of flow. Class tube bent at right angle. Here I make the figure. And this is the Peter tube figure. Peter tube. How this is used to measure the velocity of flow at any point. So here we go with its principle. principle is if the velocity at any point becomes zero velocity get converted into the kinetic energy due to this velocity get converted into this potential energy this is the principle of peter tube in this principle peter tube work so let me write here the principle This is the principle of the Peter tube. If the velocity of flow at a point becomes zero, then the pressure at zero point increases due to the conversion of kinetic energy into pressure energy. So here is, this is the Peter tube in water or channel. If this is the point U1, let this is point 2, where velocity is V1 in point 1. Here velocity is v2 at point 2 in this condition when the fluid let's say water move in this direction downstream then at this point the velocity of the water becomes zero and this get converted into this height this Head, pressure head. Yes, this is the principle of this Peter tube. Now we go with the determination of velocity of fluid using Peter tube. determination of velocity of flow 
फर्स्ट अफ अल वी कन्सिडर अ चैनल वेर वाटर इज फ्लोइ इन डाउन स्ट्रीम लेट द डेफ्थ अफ वाटर दिस इज यच सपोज अ पीटर ट्यूब इज प्लेस एट द सेंटर of this flowing water here the velocity this is point 1 u1 this is point 2 just this point 2 is just as the inlet of this filter tube this is 2 where the velocity is v2 so this is the free surface up to it h when the water is flowing with velocity v when it comes at point 2 Here the velocity becomes zero, and then this velocity due to this velocity, the water rises up above the free surface. This this is the free surface, so it rises up to eight yards. So we write consideration. Consider two point. One point just far from the filter tube. And point two is just as the inlet of filter tube. Consider two point one and two at the same level, and this point two point are on the same level. Let this is depth d. Let center of Peter tube from the free surface is capital H. These two points are on the same level in this channel. In such a way that the point is just as the inlet of you. Point one is far away. Point one is far away from the point two. Pressure intensity at point B P one. Velocity here B one. The so speed this year. I am doing this. B one velocity of flow at point one and P two n P two are the velocity and pressure at point two. Corresponding values at point two, and this is height y from free surface to the depth, and this height y is height is the rise of the liquid above the free surface. So we apply Borland's equation: point one and point two between this point. Your pressure is P one, so pressure head P one by rho g. Your velocity is v1, so 
यू एन स्क्वायर अपॉन टू जी कैंटिक हेड एंड पोटेंशियल हेड लेट दिस इज द डेटम द डेप फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट इज दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट जेड वन एंड दिस पॉइंट अप टू पॉइंट टू जेड टू जेड वन इक्वल टू पी टू अपॉन रोजी प्लस पी टू स्क्वायर अपॉन टू जी प्लस जेड टू दिस पॉइंट वन एंड टू आर ऑन द सेम लेवल सो जेड वन इज इक्वल टू जेड टू सो दिस गेट कैंसिल आउट पी वन अपॉन रोजी पी वन अपॉन रोजी इज द प्रेसर हेड एट दिस पॉइंट दिस इज इक्वल टू प्रेसर हेड फ्रॉम प्रेसर पे दैट इज एच एच प्लस यू एन स्क्वायर अपॉन टू जी इक्वल टू प्रेसर हेड एट दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट इज एच प्लस एच प्लस दिस बी टू यार बेल सिटी इज जेरो सो दिस इज जेरो एंड जेड टू गेट कैंसिल आउट we have remaining this only so we have h plus v1 square upon 2g plus equal to h plus h this h get cancel so we have v1 is equal to root under 2g h That is velocity at point depend upon the rise of the liquid. This is the formula to calculate the velocity at point. So we find the velocity at point. This is the theoretical value. थर्टी गोल वैल्यूज बेल सिटी अंडर आइडियल कंडीशन इज सो एक्चुअल वैल्यूज व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल वैल्यू ऑफ दिस बेल सिटी एट पॉइंट वन देर फॉर एक्चुअल वैल्यू ऑफ velocity v1 is cv root under 2gh where this cv coefficient of velocity this is the actual value of velocity at point 1 so in this way we can determine the velocity of a flowing fluid in a pipe or channel using the heater tube now we go with the determinant velocity of flow in pipe by heater tube velocity of flow in a pipe using pitot tube there are different method one first method first method we have to make a pipe this is fitted with the pitot tube this is right angle here in this point we have to find the velocity so we use here a piezometer vertical piezometer this is point to when water flows in downstream direction 
let rise of water here and let piezo meters so reading up to here so this is the difference of head yes peter tube along with a vertical piezo meter this one method by using this method we can calculate the velocity of any point of a flowing fluid in a pipe that is one number peter tube along with this vertical piezo meter how can we calculate the velocity at a point we will do numerical relating to this and second method peter tube connected with piezo meter let this is vertical piezo meter and let this is peter tube these two are connected in this way so this is the pipe water flows in this direction the piezo meter so reading up to here and this peter tube so is reading up to here so this is difference of pressure head yes we have this yes then we can find the velocity at point using u1 equal to root over 2g yes so by substituting this value here we get the velocity at this point 1 next matter third number peter tube and vertical piezo meter differential u tube manometer Peter tube and vertical piezo meter with differential u to manometer. Let me draw a sphere. Let this is the pipe, horizontal pipe. At this point, the Peter tube tube is kept. Let this is a vertical piezo meter, and these two are get connected with a differential u to manometer. Now this is the differential u to manometer. this contain liquid up to here so this is the difference in manometer reading that this is x if we know x we can calculate h yes, by using h yes, equal to x h yes, of this is a if this is a liquid h yes, yes, upon h yes, not this flow liquid in is h yes, not specific gravity of Minus one. With this difference in manometer reading, we can calculate this h. Yes. Now, if we know this h, yes, we can use this formula h. Yes. We want equal to root over two h. Yes. Then we can calculate the velocity at a point. So this is all for the tube.